Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to a different video. You will see from the title, it is my new car reveal. I haven't actually talked much actually about the fact that I've got a new car. Probably hinted in a few different um, vids, a few different stories and things on Insta um, and TikTok and stuff like that as well. Um, but yes, I have got a new car. You've probably been w wondering where the um, Civic Type R has gone. Um, it hasn't gone anywhere as such, but it just hasn't been on the channel much. Um, I've had an engine issue with it to the extent um, basically Honda have not been very good with it at all. Um, I was a little bit upset about that, but it's a different story for a different day. They, you probably would have seen on my um, FL5 video that I kind of talked a little bit about that, but not too much. But there is going to be a in-depth video all about the FK8 and kind of what's happened with it and um, uh, where it is. It, it is still my in my possession. It is still my car, um, but it is uh, is going to be sold. Um, and it's making way for a new car. Um, in the comment section, maybe hit me up what you think it's going to be before you go and carry on watching this video a bit further. What do you think I've bought? What have I gone for? Anyway, enough talking. Let's do the reveal. So yes, I have bought an uh, 2019 Audi RS3 saloon in white, literally with all factory options ticked. I didn't tick them, whoever bought it before me, one owner from new, ticked every every single order, um, every single order, every single option literally you can think of is on that car. So some highlight features i guess for the car this is an 8v2 so it's a face lifted face lifted saloon um in an 8v so it's a dnwa engine which is basically all alloy uh, block alloy head um beast of an engine uh contrary to what some people say about the fact of the difference between a Dazza and a DNWA engine. There's really little apart from some cams, um, which makes these more punchier from low down and mid range. Up top, um, the Dazza car will kind of start to walk away a little bit from a DNWA car. Um, the only thing that's really negative to most people on a DNWA car is the fact that they have GPF uh, filters. So like an OPF, DPF uh, type filter, like in some kind of mufflers. Uh, within the car so it makes it a little bit 
the noise a little bit more strangled however this one does have the sports exhaust which does sound really nice and if you i think map um get a map fitted um the remote valves that normally shut closed um after kind of cold start um they will they can remain open so it really does have a good sound yes a non-gpf um filter, uh, gpf filter car will sound nicer but that car overall sounds amazing. I've had it for about a week and a half and obviously I haven't revealed it to you uh, until just now. But on first impressions, absolutely adore the car, absolutely love it. But I am gonna do a full drive video for you really, really soon, but this is just a reveal. But let's give it a little turn on and then let's talk a little bit more about the car. So I probably can't do a proper cold start video because this has already been started. So it won't be on the cold duty cycle start as such although you will still hear it with the remote valves open briefly so it should still sound really nice you'll probably notice that in the back um i have the basically this is a um, like i said factory option with um the pano roof which yes it does add a little bit of weight um and probably people that know me will probably think why the hell did you go for one with pano um to be honest with you in the summer it's beautiful outside of summer yes probably not so much and it just adds weight so it can make the car have a lot of um higher end um top weight heavy area where it have a bit more weight i'm talking crap now but basically it has a bit more weight um and overall um it's not as track orientated to probably what i would normally get but that being said what people probably will forget and it's probably due to a large a portion of the fact that the car is um decently powerful basically high uh, headline figures 400 horsepower i can't remember what the torque is but a shed load of torque as well but 400 horsepower or 400 ps um these are absolute rocket ships um i'm going to do some um 100 200s for you really really soon as well uh on draggy um but yeah this car is an absolute rocket ship like i say it's got every factory option um included on here let me just give it a little start up for you Start by on there. A little bit muted again because it's, um, uh not as cold as it was it doesn't sound quite as nice but it's still nice but it's got this little pop out um uh mmi um panel which is really really nice really really nice and clear and obviously the virtual cockpit display which you can change and it is <clears throat> absolutely stunning loads of different things you can do with this so crystal clear and um yeah like i say rest assured this car is an absolute rocket ship like I say, um, <clears throat> about 400 horsepower, completely factory fresh. Um, of course, as a, it's Alex, anyone who knows Alex will know that I always modify my cars. I'm not going to do too, too much to this car, but I'm still going to do some bolt-ons. Um, unless life throws different things at me um, in my head, I'm going to put at least some good bolt-ons in this car. Um, and basically really simple bolt-ons you can get these cars up to 500 even 520 even 570 horsepower if you have meth and ethanol um but we're going to go probably milder and not run ethanol or methanol um, and probably look for around the 500 horsepower range but we're looking forward to modifying this like i say it's a beautiful place to be like different level of step up for the fka in terms of interior but anyone who's watching me for the fka content if you saw from my FL5 video, I am still going to be doing a lot of stuff with Honda. I'm still going to be doing a lot of stuff with Dream Automotive. There's a lot in uh, still in the plans. Um, so I'm going to keep doing stuff with um, uh, probably not my FK8 because I'm almost certain it's going to go. Um, but definitely with FK8s full stop because I love them. I love the community that's kind of um, been brought to my attention with the FK8. There's some really good people I've met through. Um, the journey of owning that car definitely so uh, definitely going to be still on that um, fk8 flex so please um, keep locked in and subscribed and uh, there will be some uh, cool uh, honda content some probably some really cool exclusive stuff that's coming up as well uh, in the not too distant future but anyway 
let's crack on with this video. So yeah, to be fair, when I do a proper full video of this um, car in the near future, a proper drive video, I'll, ex I'll obviously explain more about all of the tech spec and everything else um, about the car. Um, but if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comment section and yeah, um, hope you like the reveal, hope you like the car, let us know what you think, what, you've, what your thoughts are. Yes, it's not kind of directly track. Actually, I was gonna go on to that just quickly before I end the video. Um, that isn't typically as track as the FK8 and it definitely just on brief observations and driving it a little bit, doesn't tend to corner quite as flat, um, but it still is really, really good. If you know how to drive that car and you turn everything off, it still drives really, really well. Um, and obviously it's got a hell of a lot of power. What you have to remember with these um, uh, facelifted, um, even saloons or even non-saloons, but saloon um, uh, facelifted um, Audi RS3s, is that they are getting around the same Nürburgring lap time um, as, the, as like the FK. And actually, although you can't find it, it's um, there. If you delve on the web, you can kind of see that. But obviously, or should I say from lots of other tracks, if you look at lots of other tracks, this will match and be there or thereabouts of what the FK is doing. So it's pretty damn impressive. But anyway, there's going to be a full drive video of it coming soon. Anyway, hope you like the reveal. Hope you like the car. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section. If you've got any questions for us as well, hit us up in there as well. Um, guys, as always, like, share, comment and subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.